A 62 year old male presented with a complaint of backache, two pathological fractures in the past three months, and on evaluation when I have checked the investigation, the serum calcium was 12.8 milligram per deciliter, or you can say 3.2 millimoles per liter. Now, uh, you need to have differentials in your brain, right? The first one would be multiple myeloma. Second is malignancy, as according to the age, right? Third is primary hyperparathyroidism. Or fourth, you can keep it as renal osteoid dystrophy if there's a background of CKD. Fifth, hypervitaminosis D. And also, you can consider sarcoidosis. There are others as well. But yeah, these six are very important. And when you need to approach these patients, you need to have a detailed history asking about the appetite, the weight loss, and the family history. Also, the involvement of the other organs, right? Second, you need to further send other investigation apart from CBC, KFT and NFT. You need to send the serum PTH level, serum vitamin D and also serum uh, phosphate levels. Further, you can also send serum ACE levels if you're thinking about the sarcoid and also serum and urine protein electrophoresis if you're thinking about multiple myeloma. Talking about the imaging, you need to go with chest x-ray again to rule out sarcoidosis or CT scan chest if needed. And then you need to go with bone scan which is DEXA scan. And if you are suspecting malignancy on a higher side, right, then you need to go with PET scan. And this is how you need to approach. Now, I need to know from your side, how will you manage hypercalcemia if it causes drowsiness and patient presence in the emergency?